Um, you can see now this is an aft camera um, view from the drop. So we have, it looks to be a successful ignition of the stage one engine uh, as we make our way to space. Like I had said before, a lot happens very quickly after drop. Uh, you can see here that we're actually getting towards the end of our stage one burn. Uh, everything is nominal so far. We've had our pitch up on the bottom, uh, on the burn time that you can see commanded. on the graphical user interface if you do have that one off. Uh, we have made it through Max-Q Alpha, which is one of the most stressful physical uh, moments for the rocket, um, very comfortably through Max-Q. Um, and then also through our maximum heat, uh, aerodynamic heat, um, uh, heating. We have made it through Miko, our main engine cutoff. That is our Newton three engine, sh engine shutdown is uh, reported as nominal. And if we can go back to our aft camera. Bearing brake wire is broken. We have stage separation. You may see dropouts in the data during the flight here. Uh, that is expected as we're switching between the different ground stations. is one of the most stressful physical uh, moments for the rocket, um, very comfortably through Max-Q, um, and then also through our maximum heat, uh, aerodynamic heat um, uh, heating. We have made it through Miko, our main engine cutoff, that is our Newton-3 engine, sh engine shutdown, is uh, reported as nominal. And if we can go back to our aft camera. Bearing brake wire is broken. We have stage separation. You may see dropouts in the data during the flight here. Uh, that is expected as we're switching between the different ground stations that are picking up the signal from the rocket. Switching data source to the new key. Now, as you can see, the trajectory that's being shown on the screen uh, is no longer of Cosmic Girl because she is on her way back to Spaceport Cornwall in the UK. The trajectory is now tracking Launcher 1 as she makes Stage her way two, down two, the nominal. Atlantic um, Ocean uh, towards the Canary Islands.
Stage 2 trajectory nominal. Stage 2 trajectory nominal. That means our flight path is as expected, being picked up by those ground stations. We're probably almost coming up on halfway through our stage two burn number one. On the GUI here, you can see in the center there, obviously the cool flame coming out the left-hand side, uh, but you can see the fuel and the oxygen leaving the uh, stage as it goes through the engine. Another really neat thing to see is the gimbal over on the left-hand side, the the blue square with the dot in the middle shows you the position of the engine as, as it is steering uh, stage one. Stage two, burn nominal. Altitude now is looking at around about 600,000 feet. approximately three miles per second. Bus voltages for the batteries are nominal. You may have noticed that we had a lower voltage while we were in captive Switching carry. data source to and Madrid. that's because the uh, power was being provided by Cosmic Girl at that point before we switched over to the rocket's internal batteries. Stage two burn is a little longer than the stage one burn, so this might take a little while for us to get to second engine cutoff one. As I said earlier, there are points of the uh, flight where we don't have the telemetry coming from the rocket because we are out of view of the ground stations. Uh, our flight software folks have implemented a store and forward on our rocket, which means that when we are out of view of the ground stations, we are storing that data so that the next time we do come in view of a ground station, we can download it and- uh, Confirm and target lock from Madrid. Data source switch to Madrid. Yeah. Our Madrid ground station has locked on to our rocket and is streaming the data now. Confirm signal from Mass Palomas, switching telemetry source to Mass Palomas. Newton 4 shot down initiated. You just heard the call for Newton 4 shut down. Newton 4 is our stage 2 engine. So that is the completion of the first burn of our second stage. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, it appears that Launcher 1 has suffered an anomaly, which will prevent us from making orbit for this mission. Uh, we are looking at the information and data that we have uh, gotten, um, and we'll be back with you in a moment with more. 